Let's a Quaddle Entertainment presents Women's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 157, Orange League of Power Bucks. Starting in this manga, that leaves Shotaro and me with less than 30 chapters left to work on. Come in! Oh, hi, Miyako, Momoko, Kaoru, come on in. Oh, Shigeru, Koji, and Takashi are here too. Didn't expect that. Well, we came here to tell you something. Something you ought to do. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you know about the League of Power Buffs around here, right? Yeah, why do you ask? Well, get this. There are actually other Power Buff Leagues throughout Animation Land. What? You heard us loud and clear. Other Power Puff Leagues! Our own Power Puff League is called the Yankabo League, which governs Power Puffs here in the Kanto Country. The next league you should take on is the Orange League, which governs Power Puffs in the Orange Archipelago, which is just south of Cinnamon Island. I just so happened to be down there when I competed in the serving competition, and won. Oh my god, really? Yeah, is there something about the competition that caught your ears? Well, that explains why I received Meek on Island's badge. Oh my god! The Polo Eye badge? Let's see it! Here it is! Oh my god! This is awesome! Anyway, back to the conversation. There are four events in the Orange League of Powerpuffs. The winner of each event will receive a badge from the island's head Powerpuff. Head Powerpuff? Okay, so that's a hierarchy of Powerpuffs in the Powerpuff League. At the bottom are just ordinary Powerpuffs. Then there are the eight wielders of the transformation badges. They are the head power puffs of the eight cities that the badges are based in. And at the very top are the Elite Four. They are the leaders of the entire league. Unlike the Indigo League, the Orange League works a little different, which we've already mentioned. Anyway, as for the Orange League's badges, they're just signs of a power puff's victory in the four events. So you've already earned the first badge, which is wielded by Atsumi of Mekon Island. The next event will be a snowboarding race, which will be held on Naval Island. Whichever power buff wins the most events out of the four, well, they'll get a chance to take on the Orange League's head power buff, Yuji, on Pumelo Island. If that power buff finishes the feat, Yuji, they'll receive the winner's trophy and be recorded into the Palace of Victory. Wow! Okay, I'll take on the other three events in the Orange League. Now that's what I like to hear. Good luck! You know, since you're the ultimate power buff, you might actually have a chance at winning all four events, which has never been accomplished before. You may even be a match for Yuji himself. Okay, well thanks for letting me know about this. Hey, it's what we do, right? We don't know when the snowboarding race is scheduled to be, but you should find that out for yourself. Oh, I've actually planned on that. Good luck at the Orange League, Quentin-chan! Well, I'll do my very best. Great! Bye-bye! You know, I can tell that the Orange League will be a bit too different from the uh, Indigo League, as it'll be nothing like the Indigo League. I'm sure I'll be able to tackle everything. Anyway, thanks for coming. Stop by whenever crime attacks, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.